The hellhound is a supernatural canine found in folklore, sometimes known as black dogs. A wide variety of ominous or hellacious supernatural dogs occur in mythologies around the world. Features that have been attributed to hellhounds include black fur, glowing red or sometimes glowing yellow eyes, super strength or speed, ghostly or phantom characteristics, foul odor, and sometimes even the ability to talk. There is a famous Greek hellhound named Cerberus. Legend says that if someone is to stare into its eyes three times or more, the person will definitely die. In cultures that associate the afterlife with fire, hellhounds may have fire-based abilities and appearance. They are often assigned to guard the entrances to the world of the dead, such as graveyards and burial grounds, or undertake other duties related to the afterlife or the supernatural. Hunting lost souls or guarding a supernatural treasure. In European legend, seeing a hellhound or hearing it howl may either be an omen of death or even a cause of death. In Appalachia, a different breed of hellhound is thought to roam. Mostly in Kentucky, it is said to have a blackish blue fur, a mane running halfway down its back, and large paws that look strikingly similar to a black bear's front paws. It does not seem to have much relation to religion, but rather called a Kentucky hellhound likely because it wreaks havoc on livestock. If you've never watched one of my videos and this is your first time, then be aware that the stories in my top 5 videos are not my own, rather they are eyewitness testimonies from various civilians or experts who have dealt with supernatural entities. Enjoy. Number 5. Darkness in Detroit I've had a few different paranormal experiences in my life, but this is the only occurrence I can remember that involved a beast of any sort. I live in a nice suburb of Metro Detroit. There aren't many large animals in the area aside from deer. The only other animals in the area are your typical pet, squirrels, and an occasional fox or two for the most part. It's a pretty tame area. I was driving through the neighborhood, leaving my girlfriends around midnight last summer. As I was driving north on the street in the subdivision, something caught my eye from the very left edge of my field of view. It appeared to be a very large and well-built creature, hurtling from a backyard on the grass and into the street. I slammed on my brakes immediately in disbelief at what I was witnessing. It was moving extremely fast, I'd say at least 40 to 50 miles per hour. The yard in which it emerged from was directly facing a short cul-de-sac that backed up to some trees and then more houses beyond that. I immediately turned right facing the court so that my headlights would illuminate the path that it seemed to be running. I was only able to witness it for a few more seconds, but I have no doubt in my mind that whatever I witnessed was real. Number 4. Humanoid Hellhound On the East Coast is an account from Connecticut where a witness on the site, Real Unexplained Mysteries, claims to have lived in an apartment that was haunted by shadow people and an apparition of some sort of massive spectral hound. The thing would first appear one night looming over their bed and she would have described a terrifying experience thus. I awoke with it over my then boyfriend. It is very immense, stands like a human, has red eyes, long pointy nails, the hands are not like ours, but not paws either. It has a very unique snout, more pronounced than a canine. It is no dog, but a beast. I worded it off, I had too much to lose. I told myself, show no fear, and I can't even explain the immense anger I felt. It does not speak like us, but more in mind. Almost perception. I growled like in my mind and remembered thinking, stay away. That's when the anger swept over me. It backed up and vanished. I wish I could say it was a happy ending, but it wasn't. I started having night terrors, always ending in my death, every night. Number 3. Werewolf or Hellhound We had this really strange dog creature that would hang around the property. I say dog creature because this thing was far too big and intelligent to be a stray dog. It had very pronounced red eyes. I'm not saying it was a werewolf or a dog man, but it was very werewolf-like. The dog would frequently stalk the edge of the woods on our property in the day. It seemed to have no fear. My uncle would yell at it or throw things towards it to try to scare it off, but it would simply rear up on its hind legs like a ram and charge at him for a short distance. We would frequently find dead chickens or rabbits after thunderstorms. We knew it was that dog thing because it would leave huge paw prints in the mud and claw marks on the window ledges. Sometimes we would find the screens ripped from our screen doors and windows. It would never outright attack us, but it did seem to enjoy taunting us and harassing us. Number 2. Eyes of Red One summer night, my mom had left the window open in my bedroom to cool the room off so I could sleep. 
She was on her way to the bathroom and went by my room and heard me talking to someone. When she opened the door, she saw me standing in my bed and I had apparently wet my pajamas. I was talking towards the window. I wasn't screaming or freaking out, but seemed to be transfixed and talking in a low voice towards the window. When she looked towards the window, the dog had its two front paws pushed through the screen and was looking through the window at us and making a low growl. Its eyes glared red. I always recall its eyes. You could see its eyes out in the woods, sometimes at night. I had bad dreams about it from time to time. Number 1. Are Hellhounds Real? Hellhounds in one form or another have been recorded throughout human history, from a variety of far-flung cultures. Although their appearance varies depending on the area and the local traditions, they are typically described as a very large black hound which can range anywhere in size from that of a large Great Dane all the way up to the size of a cow or horse. They are usually described as truly frightening beasts, being totally black with shaggy or matted fur and large saucer-sized eyes that are typically described as burning with a malevolent red glow. Though some accounts say they have only a single luminous eye, usually they are described as having formidable claws, vicious looking fangs, and as being a supernaturally agile, fast, and strong. The hounds can be reported as either tangible and real, or conversely purely spectral creatures with any attempt to touch them proving to pass through them as if they aren't there. Folklore usually suggests that they have a horrific well or howl which can invoke sheer terror in those who hear it, and they are known to even have a sinister human sounding laugh but that their footfalls are typically completely silent. I'd say, given all the eyewitness testimony throughout recorded history, paired with the fact that hellhounds are often referred to in different religions by different names, that yes, they are real.